Can you see me? You can see me. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? We're back with another episode of Turner TV. And today, I'm going to be telling you guys what's inside of this bag and what's inside of my bag. Don't mind this more baby stuff that I need to put away that I haven't put away. And some ice. You guys, I'm obsessed with ice. Obsessed with ice, okay? Like, crushed ice? That bad. If you love me, mm, if you love me, bring me some ice, okay? So, I know I ain't posted in a while. I know, you know, I was supposed to be posting a lot, but what's really going on is doctor's appointments, moody, like, ain't nothing important really happen. It's going to come when the baby gets here. Dude, there's like something on my eye. What's my eye? Anyways, this video is not going to be too, too, too long because I just want to let y'all know what's inside of our bags because people, you know, might know. And plus, I wanted to post another video on YouTube before the baby got here because I feel like the next video is going to be his video. It's going to be his debut. Maybe not his debut, but it's going to be my vagina's debut, okay? I know that sounds crazy, but whatever. Um, shout out to Cayenne Hair by Fun Kai on instagram for hooking up my knotless braids i wanted them as big as possible um with the smallest amount of braiding hair and she really did that for me i wanted them short i don't want them long ones because i don't want to deal with them i really wanted them to look like my hair was just hella long and then she just like braided my natural hair that's what i wanted them to look like and i feel like she accomplished that so shout out to her for hooking me up and so i'm gonna go ahead and get into this video because honestly I want to go lay down in my bed and I ordered some pizza from Domino's and I'm hungry and I really haven't fed him today so I really haven't eaten a lot today so I really need to go feed him so I'm gonna start off with his bag um, I'm gonna let you guys know everything that's inside of his bag he moving y'all feel like he's so close he's so close but let's get started okay <sighs> So this is his bag. I feel like this is like five pounds, you guys. <sighs> Look at how big it is. Oh my God. Ugh. Um, This bag came from one of my really good friends, Jasa. Thank you, Jasa. Um, this big ass bag still, I feel like I just have so much stuff in here. So y'all, he really moving. Why did my water just broke on camera? I don't know what I would do. Anyways. Let me go ahead and tell you guys what's inside of this bag. Ah! Okay, so we got a comb and a brush. I figured out the last minute we didn't have this, so I stopped at Dee Dee's and got this for $2.99. And then it had me thinking because I have so much heartburn, and they say if you have heartburn a lot, that means your baby's going to have a lot of hair. So I'm hoping he just has a lot of hair, but I was like, if he has hair and then like, you know, you want to take pictures of him, what are we going to do about his hair? We're not going to be able to do anything. So all oh, that makes me think. I didn't get no baby. Um, the Johnson and Johnson, like moisturizing gel, you know, you know, it's not baby oil. It's like the one next to it. So it's like a little thick or whatever, whatever, but he didn't have none of these, so. I had to get him in so that if his hair come out luscious that I will be able to, yeah. Um, I got some nipple butter because if I'm going to be breastfeeding, which I plan to do, my nipples are going to hurt. They're going to be sore and all of that. So this is supposed to help soothe and relieve. So I got some nipple butter. I got some ripe water for him um, in case he has gas, colic hiccups, and fussiness or whatever while he's in the hospital. We got two breastfeeding bottles in here i plan to breastfeed but if i don't breastfeed they will provide the milk for him at the hospital um 
and so we'll have those until we go out and just buy more milk but i got some two little bottles in here oh there's a lot in here okay these are burp rags you're supposed to put them over your thing it says i love mommy you guys i love this and then this one's just a design his dad got one too like this but um we're gonna go with this one for the hospital there's that um this is just one outfit suggestion that i had it's a little big just in case he come out big but it's like this little guest outfit i'm mad it's heck a wrinkle like i might iron it to be honest with you or i might not care but look at how cute this is and it has like navy at the bottom and then these are the little navy pants that i got to go with this so really excited about that look at the little pants you guys these are so cute oh my gosh and then I don't know how big he gonna come out, so we just gonna, I don't know how big he gonna be until he get here, so. Um, this is diaper rash stuff, it's just in case he have diaper rash into his booty. I got him, let me make sure it's the right size, yeah. This little Nautica onesie thing, y'all, this is so cute, oh my gosh. This is so cute to me. And I washed all his clothes, so except... I didn't wash these. I gotta wash these. Even if I hand wash them, I gotta wash these. But this is so cute. I can't wait to put this on here. Oh, my baby, my baby. If y'all hear that blowing, it's the air. My bad. Um, then I got these, people call them receiving cloths or whatever. I like these because I feel like for whatever, I'm gonna use these cloths like you burp okay cool damn i ran out of wipes okay your shit gonna go on this damn you made a baby mess this is what this is gonna be for i don't have no 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 burp rag that's this right here okay okay cut the bring those <laughs> Ooh, something was dusty so then um I got him this little blanket in here. I think it's so cute. Everything small like baby. Oh my god. Um oh this. This is a swaddling blanket. This gets so big and you're supposed to like wrap him in it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. And then this comes with the hat. But I don't know where the hat's at. Oh, it's right here. So this goes this little hat yeah so that's that then um i got him this this blanket so that he had like a blanket he's gonna be swaddled so you know he's gonna be swaddled but then he's gonna have a blanket but i also got him like a blanket to like you know when you hold your baby and you just want him to be like in your arm this is so soft. I just feel like he deserves something so soft like this. So, there's that. And then, I put together the bassinet, you guys. So, the bassinet is together, ready to go. I put a whole bunch of diapers. I don't know, like, with this whole COVID situation and stuff like that, if they're going to be providing everything they usually do. I feel like they are. If these are newborn diapers, if he's any bigger, I'm gonna get some from the hospital while I'm there. I have some here. I just don't wanna put none in here. So if I need some bigger ones, then yeah. These are so small, my baby. I have like 13 diapers in here because I have no idea how long. I know they're gonna give you diapers at the hospital, so I don't know why I brought so many, but just in case, you know, I just like to be prepared on my own. And then I have no idea how long they're gonna try to keep me in the hospital. I think it's like three days, but then if something goes wrong or just you just need to stay extra three days, I should be prepared, you know? So then I got some wipes up in here. And then I got um, baby lotion and some baby wash and shampoo because I really want him to smell good and be queen. So yeah. 
bunch of these in there so he's so he has them and then I put a whole bunch of these little white socks in here too it's gonna be so cute I know I have stuff in other pockets so let me see I don't think there's anything on the sides the charging for I think Jason told me that no you're supposed to put the wipes in here and then this is the hole I think I'm gonna do it right now you see what I'm saying and you put them in here yeah that makes more sense and the hole is right there so when you need a wipe they just like boop you ain't gotta like wow wow maybe it is a charging hole on here I don't know but yeah, that's gonna go right there. Let me see, there's something in this very top one. Nothing in this very top pocket, but I feel some stuff behind it. Okay, what we got? So we got a little pacifier. And this is where the bottles are supposed to go. So I guess it's too fat right there. I can't fit those. And it has a little clip on it. I know like he's young and he's not gonna necessarily need like a because like he ain't gonna be moving like that but I just like you know when you move your baby around I don't want it to fall or go nowhere and then have to worry about cleaning it so I put the clip on there now and then oh I guess I already have gripe water in here this just says gas relief it doesn't have it doesn't stay for all the other stuff so I'm gonna keep both of them in there I got this little nose sucker thing Ooh, they hate these. Ooh. And then I got some nail clippers for him because he can have long nails and you just never know you need to be prepared. So yeah, that is all that is inside of my baby's bag. I'm going to put this in this couch and then probably put this in there too. And then I'm going to close that back up. And I'm going to repack this real quick, real quick, real quick. Babe is in the room by himself watching Wild and Out, thinking everything is funny. So, like, his bag, I don't know. I don't know. You know, when you go on vacation and you pack too much, I don't know. These bottles, I'm gonna put one in there then because this bag is busting at the seams. I'm getting his first bag. Ugh. I'm gonna have my boyfriend close that because that's a hassle. Okay, so now let's get to my bag. Okay, the only thing that I'm missing from out of my bag right now is my robe. Y'all, my hand is so swollen. Y'all can if y'all can see this little right here. It's like a fat. Oh my gosh. They're so swollen and it hurts. I need some ice. I deserve some ice. Okay. Mmm. 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 Mm. I feel like 
ice helps me stay hydrated. Cause these little pebbles are so small. These little pebbles are so small, I feel like they melt before they even get to my stomach. So let's get into my bag. So I got this bag from Walmart, I think. I was like, oh shoot. I got this diaper bag, but I need my bag because like you know, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need my own stuff, you know. So this is my cute little bag that I got from Walmart. Everywhere else we looked, they didn't have any bags. Like all the stores were closed when I went shopping for this bag and I just needed a bag. The one that I have is like a suitcase, so I don't wanna do that. And then my boyfriend has his Jimmy Choo bag. That's for him. So yeah, I feel like this is a big enough bag. The only thing I'm missing is my roll, but it's supposed to be here tomorrow. So hopefully he just, you know, decides to come after I get my roll. <laughs> so let me tell you guys what I got inside of here. So I got this scrubber thing from Target. Um, like, I know I'm going to want to take a shower. I know I am. And I love to scrub my skin. So it has a loofah on this side and it has like a scrubber on this side. I'm going to love this. I have one of these in the shower already. So that's that. Um... I have some snacks in here. Well, this is the soap I like to use. It's antibacterial dial soap. Uh, it's just so clean and like it doesn't have any like added scents or anything. It just smells like clean soap and it's antibacterial. And in the hospital, I know I'm gonna be scrubbing my skin, okay? Um, I got some snacks in here. I honestly, I honestly got these to get cash back at Target, but I was gonna eat them and then I was just like, you know what? Let me just get some snacks in here for like right after I have the baby. And then I got dark chocolate because dark chocolate's better for you. So also all they had. But I could have chosen to bring some other snacks and I didn't. So that's that. Um, I have some Jolly Ranchers in here because if you go into labor, you can't have anything to eat. So you won't poop on your baby. So I got those to suck on just in case. Okay, so I got these wipes right here. These are like sensitive wipes for like, you know, there's no added anything to it, but they're not disinfecting wipes, okay? So this is for like where the baby's gonna be at. I'm gonna wipe everything down, I don't care because I've been to the hospital so many times where the people have come inside the room and clean up, but what is that spot of blood that you left right there? I'm not playing, I'm playing no games. So I've been on a hunt for these guys right here. They say disinfected, kills germs, 99%, virus and bacteria, fresh scent. <sighs> Who not finna clean the room over? All them bars, all on the side, every button that I gotta touch, every cord that y'all finna try to give me, the remote for the TV, the door handles. Um, I'm finna wipe this down so I can be extra secure because I'm not playing no games. Not the virus, it's not the virus. Even without the virus, I have a problem, so like, my bathroom has to stay clean, period. Any room inside of the bathroom or any room inside of the house could be messy, dirty sometimes, not together. But the bathroom, baby, has to be spotless, you feel me? The sink, nothing. The toilet, nothing. Like, I don't know if I, I wash my toilet probably every other day. My boyfriend, I make him scrub the shower, y'all. Scrub the shower with bleach. The whole, whole, whole shower and the cracks all of that no mold no mildew no nothing no black no tan no yellow nothing he scrubs it like i'm not playing about my bathroom and for my friends who know me you already know how i keep my bathroom you already know how i keep my bathroom so y'all know how i keep my bathroom it's nice relaxing peaceful because i do not do a dirty bathroom the bathroom is where you go to cleanse yourself if you're taking a shit, you cleansing your body from that nasty ass shit. I'm not gonna go in no dirty ass bathroom to cleanse my body of this nasty ass shit. To just sit in no dirty ass bathroom. If you got black shit inside your toilet, you're disgusting. If you have mold around your toilet, around your bathtub, you are disgusting. I don't care. I know everything about the bathroom, about the bathroom, about the bathroom, about the drains. Drain no baby, we ain't getting no water built up up in there. And if you got that black shit around your tub, if you live in an apartment, you need to tell them to get on that. If you live in a house, you need to go to Walmart or Home Depot or Target 
It's called caulking. Okay, you get this little tube, and then what you do is you peel away that nasty ass, black ass, moldy ass shit that's around your tub, and you re caulk it. Comes out of this little tube, and all you gotta do is put it around it. But you don't wanna do that. You rather have a mold sit there, and that's just disgusting, and I don't play that. Okay, so it has to be clean on period. The walls, the everything, the everything, the everything has to be clean. I don't play that. I don't play that. Anyways, moving on. I have a bra in here. Um, it's not a nursing bra. I don't think this is a nursing bra, but I got these and I really like them. They hook in the front. And I think these are really smart. Like the nursing bras, they say you can just pull your titty out or whatever, but if I'm nursing, I'm gonna just bust this thing open. I don't care from the front. I'll just bust this thing open and they slide on. But I guess the nursing bra would be smart because then I could pull one out at, at a time. But I really like this one. I, I could still pull one out at the same time and then, you know, it'd be fine. So I have to put one of those in there. Um, I got some fuzzy slippers so I could be comfortable when I walk around. They have a hard bottom. So I forgot where I got this from. Ross, Marshalls, I don't know. And it has a strap on the back of it. Cause you know when you walk in somewhere you got on slides like i hate sleeping in socks but i might i think i have had the socks in here actually but i hate sleeping in socks or whatever walking around in socks being in the bed with socks i just feel like socks are for the ground and when you get in the bed it should come off of your feet and so i got these with a strap on them because if i'm walking around i don't want my feet to accidentally slip out then i got african shea butter see half of this is going i'm not playing i don't like I don't like anything with preservatives in it. Like, it's, they look, like, everybody lucky I use the antibacterial dial soap and not some, like, real African black soap or whatever. But I feel like that's clean. And this right here, African Shea Butter, I don't use lotion. It breaks out my skin. My skin is so sensitive. I cannot use lotion. And I use coconut oil. But that right there really moisturizes your skin. Then I got some panty liners because I'm gonna need those, but they're gonna give me some pads because there's some stuff y'all don't know and you bleed, you bleed. I got some drawers, some big ass granny panties, big ass granny panties, okay? Because like I said, you have to wear some stuff. Um, I got a face mask because when you're in the hospital room, the lights never go out. They never completely just get like hella black and I can't sleep with the light on, so. If there's like lights on behind me, even if they're dim, I'm gonna be up. So I got this mask. I know I'm gonna be tired, but I'm gonna be up. And then I got these hands and face wipes for not only me, but for the baby too. You know, just in case I wanna like freshen up and I just don't have the capacity to get up and get in the shower. I just wanna have them wipes. And then I got some socks up in here. Oh. I got a whole bunch of these. Um, this is for when you're breastfeeding and you're it's like something is biting me or something is biting me. I know there ain't no mosquito in here. I would be really mad. But these are um I don't even know what they're called. Give your no titties with speaking. That's what these are for. When you're pregnant. Okay, so I got where is that baking soda that I put in here? Okay, so this is a toothbrush. Duh. And... I don't know. Okay, I use just straight up baking soda to brush my teeth. I don't use toothpaste because it makes me sick while I'm pregnant. Um, I don't know why, but... I like using baking soda anyways because it makes your teeth whiter and they get clean. And if you ever felt baking soda, it's like a granule, granular. And so I feel like when I'm scrubbing it, like really get my teeth. Oh my gosh. But I do use mouthwash so that after I brush, you know, baking soda has like a nasty smell. Not a nasty smell. I like it because I'm pregnant and I'm weird. I don't know. I like the way it tastes and I like the way it smells or whatever. I like the way it looks on my mouth, but 
it doesn't necessarily get your fresh your breath fresh like minty or whatever it just gets it really clean but it has a smell to it it smells like salt if you ever if you know what salt smells like if you don't know what baking smell, smell like smell it but i got this to go with it um then i got some dove and then i got uh some q-tips so that is what goes inside of my toiletries then okay i got clothes so oh no my my um my slippers are shedding hmm. i got some like a tank top um these are like some sweatpants some large sweatpants that are not too tight around the waist and then i got these are like some more, these are like pajama pants and they're really loose and I really like them. And then I got this gray shirt to go with it, tank top, you guys, tank tops are my life. I have so many. If you ask my boyfriend, he would say I'm doing too much, but oh well. And then I got a pair of shorts because I didn't know if I was going to want to put these on, but y'all, these are so soft and I got these for Walmart. They were on sale too. I'm gonna be having some deals, you guys. But these are so soft. Like this is the softest material I probably own. I don't know what they're made out of. What is it? It's a polyester, but shoot. These are so soft, oh my gosh. And then I got this little jean shirt to go with it. And then the last item that I got inside of my bag currently, because remember I said I was supposed to get my robe and it's supposed to come tomorrow it's supposed to be here today but you know everything that's going on it's supposed to be here tomorrow i got i'm not gonna i got my my birth certificate and my social security card up here so um just in case you know they need information or you know need a proof of identity or just whatever 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 that's what this is. Um, my mom and my dad signed. I'm happy about that. Because, you know, these deadbeat daddies don't be. But let me tell you guys real quick where I was born. Okay. Deja Danae Johnson, you feel me? Born in 98. It says at, I was born at 2339. So I know if it's in the morning, it's, it goes to 12, and then one o'clock is like 13 hour. So I was born at like, about to be the next day. I was almost born on the 4th. Y'all like 20 minutes. I would have been born September 4th. What? So I was born at 11.39, like that's the 23rd hour at night, 11.39 at night, wow, hmm. Hmm. I was born in Berkeley, and yeah, my dad, Mel Chesedek, that's his name, ah. and then my mom's name is Dana. Come week, come week, come week. Oh, look at this. How ugly. I don't even know who gave birth to me, but is he still alive? I don't know. Oh, it says Ben D. Rogers. So a man is delivering me too. Yeah, he's delivering me. A man delivered my mom. And I was registered on 9-11. That's crazy. Oh, but yeah, that's where I was born. And then, yep. Yep. On the tw 23rd hour and 39 minutes, y'all. That was 11-39. Let it have been a... Uh, I would have been born on the 4th. I don't know if I like that. <sighs> but he is hurting me right now. He's giving me Braxton Hicks. If y'all don't know what that is, they're like minor contractions to get you ready for birth. 
and I don't like them because they hurt, but I'm sure it's nothing to the real contractions that I'm gonna feel, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just like pack this bag back real quick. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I have to remember to put the baking soda in here. If not, I will make him come all the way home and get it or go to the store to buy some more because I'm not playing. My baby ain't finna smell my breath being all funky. But yeah, you guys, there's gonna be so many more videos to come. Like, y'all are gonna see. I just feel like there's more content when the baby gets here because honestly, physically, I've been dealing with a lot. Like, I just try to be, I'm not gonna lie, I be all out the house. And I'm not supposed to be all out the house. So, I just need to sit down somewhere. And there's been a lot of like chaotic things going on as far as getting things situated for the baby. So, I just didn't feel comfortable or appropriate recording anything, you know, like, you want to see him? This is him. I know you really can't see how big he is, but... That my baby. That my baby. I feel like he's gonna start moving because he see the light. I don't know, but he's probably really hungry because y'all I really haven't eaten. So I probably really need to eat. But yeah, like I have to switch doctors because the doctor I was gonna go to was being disrespectful and rude and I wasn't with that. So I had to switch completely because she was the one who was assigned to me and then even if I requested another doctor, I don't want them to be like, yeah, that's her right there. No, that's not. I'm gonna put this inside of the bag before I forget. This is on my hair, but I know I'm gonna want one. Even though these are short, I know I'm gonna put these bad boys up when I, I already know, I already know. But you have to switch doctors. And so like transitioning from one doctor going to the other doctor was completely different and you know, I just didn't feel comfortable vlogging any of that. Um, and then nothing interesting has happened at all. Like with the baby, he's just been healthy and strong, nothing wrong, everything right. And so if anything interesting or was like, oh, that's crazy, then I would have vlogged it or, you know, talked about it and stuff like that. But um, you guys are gonna see the vlog from my maternity shoot. I'm probably going to, I don't know if I'm going to post this video first, probably, and then I'm going to post my maternity shoot video, um, because my photographer is still working on those, y'all, he's so dope, he's so dope, I'll post his information when I post the video for that, but that day was really, really fun, so that video is coming, and of course I'm vlogging my birth, um, I don't know if I'm going to have another child, long story, but, you know, I wanted to do everything for this child. So um, we did a belly cast, but you guys, let me just talk about that real quick. Let me talk about that real quick. We was doing a belly cast and we got halfway done. So I literally only got my stomach. Okay, I literally only have my stomach done because when we tried to do the boot part, we tried to do it. We didn't get the belly cast and stuff. We got, oh, he's moving. We didn't get, the regular belly cast stuff we did it the paper mache way like i couldn't find belly cast and stuff anywhere and i just want to get it over with so my belly is done okay that's great because we got that out of the way but when we started to try to get the boob part let me tell you god i almost passed out hella times um my my like brain or whatever i don't know what it is but when i smell certain stuff i will pass out if you nail polish I will pass out. Ask. Ask my family. I will pass out. Like, any type of, like, strong chemical or something like that, I will pass out. I don't I don't know why, um, but that's just the way that my body works. So, we're using the non-toxic school glue that the little kids be eating at, in the classroom or whatever. The regular paste. You feel me? Like, non-toxic no odor, washable, removable, safe on skin, like non-toxic, mixed in with like a whole bunch of water. So then you're just supposed to just put it on. And I don't know what was wrong, but them fumes, I promise you guys, was going to my head. 
I don't know how the little kids do it. I was finna pass out like a whole bunch of times. I'm sitting in a chair. And they put a little stuff on me. <laughs> and they put a little stuff on me, but for whatever reason, I just like passed gonna pass out so honestly i think it's really funny i'm gonna have to do my boobs on a separate occasion and just make sure that both parts are connected um we did do the first half of that video but the second half of that video is like cut off um <laughs> i think it's funny because i don't want to post it there's it's not even a finished product or whatever but i am gonna do a video of me like decorating it and me like hanging it I might put it above his crib because I feel like that's just really cute. And then I got this thing thing to go above his crib too. If y'all don't know, this is where you put like letters and stuff like that. And then you put a picture right here. You put a picture right here. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to put a picture of me and Terrence right here though. And I'm going to wait. When he get here, my photographer, he already knows what's up. We're going to do his first shoot. So I might put that picture in there then. But if you guys can see, that's how you're supposed to do it. And I got this for Hecky Cheap at Burlington. It was $8.99, boy. It was originally $15. But yeah, I might put it above his crib or something like near it or whatever. And then I'm going to change it. And he also has this other thing that, um, like, every month you're supposed to take a picture. And you're supposed to put it in there. So, like, it goes all the way to a year. But it has, like, slots where you put a picture for every month. So, I'm really excited about that. And then this right here, I wish it didn't come connected, honestly. Because every month I want to take a picture of him next to it. But like saying like I'm blah 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 months, one month, two months. But I know for sure I'm gonna put welcome home baby and then um his first little, you know, pictures up in here. And I think I'm gonna have my photographer just come to the house honestly and just have like a little area set up so that he can just get some little basic pictures in of him, whatever, like some real cute ones that are just so subtle and cute, but yeah you guys I'm gonna end this video because I didn't even want it to be long and it's thirty seven on here yeah it's like 37 minutes on here and i'm not with it i didn't get a thumbnail see my little belly you see my little belly y'all can see it kind of look big because it's hanging y'all can see but somebody take a screenshot TV. Like I said, there's going to be so many more videos coming next. The one that y'all probably going to see next is whoo, he all up here. What you guys are probably going to see next is my maternity shoot vlog and then the one after that is probably going to be like me going into labor and then the one that's probably after that is going to be like me actually giving birth and then the one after that is going to be like y'all first look at him, you know, you know, once he get developed, you know, a little bit. You know when they first shut the wound, they look they look fat and like, you know, wrinkly. They don't really look like nobody yet. Look like a little guppy at the womb, you know, you know, you know, you know. So I'm away from to get developed and then I'm gonna post that video. But you guys are gonna see Terrence more because he do not be in the videos. He be chilling inside the room. Like he do not wanna do this, but it's whatever. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Another episode of Turning TV. I can't wait for y'all to see the next episode. Bye.